Hi, welcome back. This is just a quick tutorial on how to assemble tomato roller hooks once you get them fresh out of the package. So we realized today that people using tomato hooks, uh, there's two different kinds, and we realized that some people don't know how to put them together, and they are kind of frustrating to put together if you don't know how to do it. It was something we experienced last year when we were doing it, so we thought we'd do just a really quick video to kind of show you how to do it. There's two basic types of tomato hooks that you're going to find out there uh, on the interwebs these days. Uh, one is a roller hook, tomato roller hook. These are the two pieces that it comes with. I'm going to show you how to put those together in just a minute. But then we also have the other kind that you've seen probably in some of our other videos, which are the, they're just basically some hooks and they don't have the rollers on them and you just hook them up and then unwind them. So they're a little bit simpler, but they're not as easy to use in some respects. So those are the, the two basic types. When these tomato hooks first show up at the house, you're going to have some of this twine that is going to be sticking out. And that's really all you're going to see is that it's sticking out. And you're not, you're going to be like, well, what do I do with this? Is this, because normally you think, oh, this is tucked underneath everything. I don't want to pull on this. This is exactly what you need to do. You pull on this until it releases the cord. And that is how it comes, and that's the way it's supposed to work. So whenever you get these, make sure that you're aware that it will have that little string sticking out just about like that. And all you need to do is just pull on it, and some of you may think it's gonna be really hard, and it may require some pressure, but if you pull hard enough, it will come out and it will open up. When you go to put the tomato roller hooks together, there's a couple things that make it fairly simple. First of all, you're gonna have to spread this wire apart to a degree so that you can get it over the two different pieces so they'll snap in. The other important piece is to make sure that you line this up correctly. There's a little tab right here. And this little tab is what hooks on the metal and stops it from rolling. So when we put this in, we want to make sure that we pay attention because the way that these work is you have these will actually hook on your wire and hang there with your roller hook. And so the, the important piece is that you get this tab to line up with this particular piece of the metal right down here. Because what's gonna happen is when we snap it in place, that tab is gonna hold, is gonna be what's holding the tomato hook up. So the most important thing to do is make sure you get the tab on the right side, which is gonna be the side that you're gonna be squishing it on for lowering the line. And once you do that, you sl can slide that in there on one side, and you can slide this in on the other side. And then your roller hook is ready to go. And if you need to release more line, you just ha have pressure on this and squeeze. And then if you need to roll it back up, of course, you can roll it back up to whatever level you need. And then as long as you have your tab in the right place, it will hold once you get to the right location. And then if you need to let more out, it's really that simple. You can see it won't let any out. Now, if I squeeze it, it does. And that is pretty much Tomato Hooks 101. Well, there you go. I hope you found that helpful and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.